freaking rights boys just getting back from the therapeutic physiothotic there freaking didn't go too bad freaking get better terrible but uh i called chrysler this morning freaking apparently their computers for parts only goes back to 84 we got an 83 and uh i can't seem to find the the, the rear seal part and i'm right to find the front no problem. You look up rear, front, 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 front. Everybody's got front. Nobody's got rear. So we got to try to hunt that down. Uh, might have to go to Shark Thomas today. But depending on which which direction we got to go is going to determine uh, what we sort of get done today. But I got to get uh, I got to get a fuel line. I need a fuel line for this thing. This is just ridiculous. Just sucking back. Well, it's not sucking back the fuel. It's piddling. Pissing the fuel out, terrible. But it would be super copacetic if we could get the seals for this thing, put the axle back together, drive it outside, get friggin' rusty in here, get it up on the hoist, and do the uh, fuel line. Because, uh, yeah, it is freezing as friggin' cold out, and we'll have to do it on the ground, terrible. And I quit that kind. So, I don't know. We gotta, I guess, first thing we gotta do is find this friggin' these seals. Yeah, I really got to uh, get like some sort of long, long blower and really blast out the friggin' tubes too, because, uh, yeah, no sense in friggin' putting her back together if she's just gonna friggin' get all crusty fellas again. But, anyways, I gotta friggin' have a shower, get on or something, and then we cheached, and then uh, find these friggin' parts and we'll figure out uh, if we're going to Sar Sarnia, London, St. Thomas, friggin' uh, where we're going. We'll get that uh, son of a bitch and we'll do it. Beg my part. Dodge could keep a track uh, before 84, so they got the 84 to newer. Of course, they got an 83. And even uh, for the 03 Cummins, they don't, uh, every fuel line, every freaking this, that, and the other thing is all uh, no can get, out of stock, discontinued, no gut. So, we'll have to see if we can't find that uh, while we're there as well. But, anyways, so we'll get these parts hammered down terrible. It's almost how much or something. And then, uh, yeah, well, let's see if we can slide this rear end back together. My bass. Well, uh, it turns out we got uh, faulty information, so we got the seals will be here in the morning. So that'll be all right. But uh, in the meantime, I'm sure you can find something else to do, but man, I'm starving. Holy suffering, I need how much of it. Yeah, just absolutely ridiculous. I need an 18 inch friggin' fuel line from the friggin' stovepipe to the canyon steer and friggin' it's an obsolete unit. Eh? We'll build trucks that run and drive forever, but friggin' uh, yeah, you can't get parts for an 03, but hey, eh? better for your sake. This thing's almost a friggin' classic. But anyways, we gotta get back to Inwood, gotta get a friggin' chicken wrap down me and friggin' uh, Get into the shop and figure it out. But I might just end up getting a, a fast fuel big cigarette because I mean it's not like you can't use it and I'll we'll just bypass that friggin' canister nonsense altogether and just do the old friggin' underneath how you doing remote friggin' filter setup there, I guess. Well expensive, but you know, I mean by the time I monkey around with this and that and the other thing it's like I could get you know some actual work done or forget I don't know pretty much fix her and be done with her with that whereas forget get that line now it's the next line I'll get this line now it's the next line you know so I don't know we'll figure it out you know it's dicked we had that coming so I need an alternator I need a fuel line couple few things and we just freaking gave them away when we sold the bits off it hopefully that fuel line's there but my appliance is telling me that it ain't if i didn't need it it would totally be there huh this one's just got a piece of rubber hose and some stove pipe on it so maybe they've done this before it's Running. Well, we got some news and some other news. Friggin' uh, first, 
got insurance on this freaking thing, 157 bucks a year. I was, she's like telling me and I was like, you know, so I'm writing stuff down and I'm like, sorry, did you just say 157 a year? And she's like, yep, this and that, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, you know what I mean? Like, there's no sense in dicking around. I mean, sheesh, that was quick. But uh, yeah, so of course, still gonna do body work and get it safety and stuff. But I mean, friggin', uh, if we got a, a 10 day, we could freaking drive it right now. Hey, okay? well, not right now, right now, because of course, friggin', uh, the parts decks, uh, they were unable to establish the correct, the correct uh, stove pipe into the uh, Ringolo factor of the Axe Hill department, so, but they got them on the way for tomorrow, so that's way more awesome as frig. But we got to Delamus because A, this thing's in the shop, and D, Rusty's got that fuel leak, but friggin' man, it would be so much easier to friggin' if this thing wasn't in the shop to get Rusty in here, get it up on the hoist, remove the fuel line in the warm. You know, I mean, we might have to remake, you know, just take it to the parts store, say, I need to make this bit because they got the little connect bits that got the stove pipe. Like, I mean, for 11 bucks, you can make the, the, the line I need. It's just a matter of getting the son bitch off of there and, uh, you know, this and that, but freezing cold windy or sprig out freaking to quit that kind real bad but i don't know we'll give her a crack maybe i don't know but i mean i still got all type of stuff to do could definitely keep busy until uh until tomorrow morning but that doesn't fix my fuel leak and man that's driving my cigarette a little bit how you doing if you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna have to call nelson just to ask him where what he's done with all the fasteners he had a freaking thing in there but like the hubcap filled with uh, different guys. Okay, so that's probably gonna be all of them. Yeah, here's your Duff Ronchols, lug nuts, different stove pipers. Oh yeah, and then these little dinks. Anybody ever uh, put these little 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 dinks in the uh, in the axle to try to get it to not wind off on you? Some terrible. I never have, but. Uh, we're about to tomorrow, I guess, because why, why would we why would we want to be able to have and ski the different type of the seals? Ark! But uh, yeah. Anyways, we'll clean the box out, get all that wet shit out of there. Look at some of the treasures: brass, ratchet, some type of some type of situation. I don't know, I don't know, but this stuff's got to go. Be a minute, dicking around, cleaning up after the whirlwind on the weekend there. We got a lot done. Holy suffering, suck my tashes. But uh, any words, I'll bang out a couple uh, things here. I got to I gotta put a tube on a guy and blow out the friggin' uh, the uh, rear end too. It's, it's still, I mean, I, I rag on a stick that, but we still we need to blow gun it and spray it and rag on a stick it and Blow gun and stick it rag on a snow pipe. You know what I mean. Beg my part. Got the Duff and Ancho cleared out. Not the, not terribly, but uh, it's how much or something. It's just to uh, give it a dose, but that looked too bad. Not too bad at all. Don't know if we'll be able to get the shot down the tube, but I was able to. Oh, for frick's sakes. I was able to clear out the tube a little bit. You can't. You can't even daunt this. But uh, yeah, did pretty good. Cleared her right out, spritzed her with WD-30, and then shoved the little rod with a rag down it about 75 times. Friggin' air choo-choo, friggin' brake line on the air choo-choo. <laughs> more rag, more air choo-choo, more WD cigarette. Had, uh, had um, a friggin' turd of a can, a friggin' uh, brake cleaner, but uh, I quit, eh? Push button, no come out. So, any words? But we're just set at sandwich or something, so we'll get that down us. All in other words, I friggin' uh, cleaned her out, good a friend, good a friend. Just uh, letting the last little, last little residuals milk out of the air skull there. There's like a cavity up the top, and I just chooched some shit down there and friggin' blew it out, blew it out, and just letting the last remnants run out. And then uh, hopefully we can get the right seals in the morning. Hopefully, 
and then uh, yeah put this back together we can get uh, rusty in the shop because I've been uh, doing a little bit of the search of the rees and uh, if you don't this over here we got uh, you know that's like the canister I don't know how good you can sound it we can, you know and then we got like the the from the tank to the canister and then this one's the return line so uh we'll have to get it up on the hoist and just make a double sure and pull them off and friggin give them the how you doing before i go friggin getting all carried away. words but either way you can't friggin you can't just go and buy it i'd already have it it would just be friggin a thing that's been happening but friggin dodge no go oh my goodness but uh if i end up having to spend all type of the monies i might as well spend a few hundred more and get one of them friggin fanty pant filter friggin side of the frame like we'll shift the word had for frig sacks because like really that's the way to friggin go get rid of that can of steer on the side and just have the the you know water choocher and the stove pipe easy access i don't bypass that friggin mopards friggin uh, some bitch all together i don't want to power wash the the frame it's just coming off like friggin uh, Sprinkling make how you doings, right? So friggin, uh, I think just pickle the pickle the frame with the power washer and friggin uh, bring her back in, let it dry out really good, and then spray that friggin rust converter chooch onto it. Of course, we'll have to friggin uh, do the body work as well. But oh, well, mother lord, hopefully we can get the seals tomorrow. They're the right ones, and we just jab that friggin axle together. Wrong as frig. Take her for a rip. Tear the rear end right out of it. Have to buy a new one. Blow up friggin' rusty because we're not friggin' changing the fuel line. It's just friggin' soaked in fuel. Terrible, terrible. That would be just splendid. Or we could uh, get the right seals, jab it together. Everything works perfect. Friggin' we'll pick up some bits and pieces from the friggin' dicks. Do the how you doing, bling wuzza wuzza, and uh, fix the fuel leak and, uh, and rusty. That'd be friggin' great. But we also got to find some uh, rims and tires. Just found a old truck parts this and that but i don't know what the you know rims are like but i got two 16 and a half and two 16s i mean it's not the end of the world we can put them on there and get it rolling and different things but would be nice sooner or later to uh, come up with some sort of a set of the rims i mean i'm going to want to put some decent treads on this bitch too probably eh freaking great but uh Maybe I'll just put the BFs. I gotta find some 17s, put some my BFs on there. Why not? Eh? It'd be freaking awesome. But other than the uh, axle getting cleared out and ready to go, we uh, didn't get a whole lot of progress done. We just had to freaking hunt down parts and go to the parts store freaking three times. I freaking come back from therapeutic, drove right back to the freaking uh, Petrillo Roots. So freaking, uh, and a waste of day happens sometimes, but uh, the way she goes, I mean, the axle needed to get clean out and it took quite a while and I probably wouldn't have done it as good if I had the parts. So that'll work out uh, just blended out. But in other words, tomorrow we'll uh, hopefully get all this nonsense back in the truck and uh, I should just run tits like a cigarette now. Friggin' rights, eh? I might have to get a 10 day, boys. Eh? Take her for a little bit of a rippy poo. At least go friggin' show it off to John Luke and maybe the metal dicks and stuff, you know what I mean? But anyways, boys, don't forget to uh, check out the Patriotics there. We do a live McSigurt friggin' hangout thing every Sundards for Frig Sacks. Pretty awesome. -er. A little bit of cheech and how much you're something. And I put the movies up a day early on uh, on the Patriotics too, just just in case you had a cordulation uh, under that. But uh, anyways, boys, if you wouldn't mind tossing over a bit of a finger foch on the like button, appreciate it some terrible. And if you missed them, got a couple of bitches here from earlier in the week if you care to partake. But uh, anyways, boys, beg my pardon that we cheat here. Go another dick apart. I'm talking. Until tomorrow. Don't the watchers get you.